Okay, so we've done the back lunge and the static lunge. Now we're going to move into the stepping lunges. We're going to do multi-directional, so it's forward, sideways, diagonals, front and back. The key with these, again, is to make sure you can control the static and the back lunges, not letting the knee dip in. Keep it nice and controlled. But this time we're stepping out. So again, this is where people tend to step over the knee, over the toes, load up the knee and get some knee pain. The key is again to push through the heel, not the toes. So only step as far as you can, keeping that knee tracking where you want it to. So for the forward ones, pretty simple. Toes pointing forward, you're going to step forward, toes stay pointing forward. Again, knee doesn't come too far forward, push off the heel, drive up nice and tall. You can alternate legs. For the, just for the time being, just stay quite upright, keep the spine tall, that will help you stop driving the knee too far forward. As you, can, as you progress with it, and this is easy, then you can start to reach out a little bit more. But remember, you're reaching forward with the body, not with the knee. Stand up. For the diagonal, we're going to keep the toes pointing forward. So the toes aren't going to turn out with the step, because again, that just turns into turning into a forward lunge at an angle. So keep the toes pointing straight on as you step out at an angle. So step out, again you're loading up the heel, back legs just trailing, stay nice and tall, push off the heel, stand tall. Alternate sides and up. Remember my toes are still pointing forwards as I step, we're not turning out, staying forwards. Side lunge is the same, you want the toes to point forward. Again if you turn the toes into it, you're just turning into a forward lunge again. So from pointing forward, you're going to step out, toes stay pointing forward, load up the hip, trailing legs straight on this one, push off the heel, stand tall. Step out, load over the hip, stand tall. Don't step too far or you'll find you won't be able to load the hip and if you don't step far enough, you're just not going to get the right exercise, the right movement. So then step out, you'll find your comfortable distance that you can load into the hip, knees pretty much over the toes, weight in the heels, not on the toes. Again, another thing you'll see people do is they'll lunge and the heel will lift. We want to sit back, load up the hip, not the quads, and up. So the side lunges, stepping out, and up. And then transverse lunges, this time we are going to turn the toes as we step, but the key is that the trailing foot the toes are going to stay pointing forward, so we're not turning into it. The trailing foot stays where it is. You're going to step out 45 degrees behind. Again, load into the heel. Train leg stays straight. Push off, stand back up. Other side, train leg straight. So now my toes are pointing opposite direction. So now we're in the transverse plane because we're turning at that angle. So load up, stand up. Load into the heel, stand up. Load into the heel, train leg straight, heel flat on both feet, stand up tall. Again, make sure you start slowly with low reps. Make sure you can control it before you build up. And as you do, then you can make it a bit more dynamic, a bit quicker, and start to load up the hips a bit more, a bit stronger. <laughs>